beach as well. And I haven't been before. But you can see like Durban slightly there in the background, not too far away from Durban. Today is a sad day for me. Uh, last night when I went to gym, I was laying on the on the leg press machine, you know, and it suddenly dawned on me that man, it's already time for week five of the Super Rugby, you know, and I've been waiting for this tournament since the end of the World Cup and it's already almost halfway man so anyway let's get to those predictions now man let's go so this weekend is another another tough weekend we've got six games again this time we've got two on friday and four on saturday and the first game is the Islanders up against the Rebels. This game is being played at Forsyth Bar Stadium, you know, at the Islanders. Look, both of these teams only won one game, so they will obviously be looking for momentum shift. Um, Warwick, the Hurricanes won six out of the last eight against the Rebels, although they lost last year. Yeah, it's going to be a tough game, but being at the Islanders, I just think the Islanders are going to win by five. The Rebels was also a bit unlucky against the Sharks last weekend, so yeah, it's definitely going to be a close game. Islanders by five. Okay, the second game on Friday is also a tough game. It's the Waratahs up against the Lions. So the Waratahs obviously on their worst start of the season. Lions just managed to lose against the Stormers two weeks ago. They were on a bye last week. And the Waratahs are playing on five or six different stadiums this year. So this weekend we'll be playing uh, on uh, Bank West Stadium. Let's have a quick look man. Okay, so this stadium takes 30,000 people. It's a beautiful stadium. It costs 360 million dollars to actually develop this stadium. And it takes 30,000 people. For me, it actually looks bigger than it really is. But yeah, I'm sure the Waratahs would want to put in a good performance and sort of, you know, make this their home ground. Again, both teams will be very eager for a win here. Um, you know, the Waratahs obviously has to win, the Lions also only won one game so far. Look, I, I just think that on the day the Waratahs is going to want it more than the Lions, although the Lions almost beat the Stormers. Uh, tough decision. You know what, I'm going against the Bookies on this one. I'm going Waratahs by five as well. We're done with Friday games, it's time for question of the day. try of the weekend so obviously rebels playing islanders first i'm sure there's going to be a try i don't know if it's going to be aaron smith Dana Letretti. you know what i'm going with corabedi to score the first try comment below who you think is going to score the first try as well as wally down there hit the subscribe button bro check how dirty it is here i don't know if you can see it but it's all bottles laying next to the lagoon here man this is disgusting So I just came and sit inside the car, man. It's just getting a bit windy for me. But anyway, let's carry on. So game three of the weekend is the Hurricanes against the Sunwolves. Not really too much to say about this one. They're playing at Sky Stadium again. Uh, I think it's a good opportunity for the Hurricanes to rest some of their players. And I'm sure they'll probably bring on the, the whole bench as well. You know, uh, the Sunwolves defense also just has to be better. You know what? I think the Sunwolves, what they need to do is just try and keep possession for as long as they possibly can and try and do 10 or more phases one after the other uh, anyway i'm going hurricanes by 20 on this one next game up is the reds against the sharks at suncorp stadium again so reds had a very convincing win against the sunwolves last weekend what 64 points to five um the sharks one against the Rebels, I still think they were a bit lucky with the forward pass and the try I think was short. But anyway, they won the game. So Sharks actually won six out of the last ten against the Reds and two of those were on this stadium, you know. So don't worry too much about home ground advantage on this one. Uh, I would like to say the Sharks is going to win this one, you know. But the truth is they weren't good against the Hurricanes. And they were pretty lucky last week as well. 
you know, and the Reds, if they can keep possession again and put all those phases together like they did against the Sunwolves and, you know, keep turning the Sharks around, they might have this one. So, uh, I know some of you are going to disagree with me on this one, but Reds by seven. Game five is the Stormers up against the Blues at DHL Newlands. So the Stormers obviously still the only unbeaten team in the tournament, four out of four for them so far. Blues just managed to sneak past the Bulls last weekend on Loftus. It was a very good win for them, you know, away. It's always difficult at Loftus. So can the Blues stop the Stormers winning streak? Although I think Blues is going to have a good season, uh, I don't see them winning this one, unfortunately. Uh, I'm going Stormers by 12. The only thing I can hope for is that it's a more entertaining game than the Stormers game last weekend. Okay, so the last game of the weekend is the Bulls against the Jaguares. And before I start with this one, man, hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Please, I'm trying to grow. Anyway, so Bulls against Jaguares. Uh, you know, the Bulls was unlucky last weekend against the Blues. They just lost. Um, you know, so Bulls haven't won yet. Jaguares won two out of the last four games. Uh, Jaguares also won four out of six and uh, against the Bulls. And actually one of them was on this stadium. You know, so I would like to see a Bulls win. Although I'm not a big fan of the Bulls, I don't like seeing any team uh, at this stage of the competition, not having won a single game. So, can the Bulls win the Jaguares? I don't think so. I'm going Jaguares by seven. So, if you're still watching, man, I really appreciate it. Give it the thumbs up, and I'll speak to you in my next video. Cheers.